What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm going to bring you a video that I didn't think I would ever make on this channel. I don't want to talk about politics on this channel. Um, I did a poll on Twitter asking you guys if you wanted me to talk about politics and surprisingly the the votes were pretty similar. Um, a lot of you did say no, you didn't want me to talk about it. So uh, if you don't want to hear about politics, just click off the video. Um, I'm not offended. I don't care. You don't have to watch it. I actually encourage you not to watch it if you don't want to hear about politics. If you're sick of it, if you're sick of the whole election thing, just click off. I totally get it. I'm sick of it too. It's all good. But I wanted to make the video because, I don't know, it's my channel. I feel like it's something that I'm somewhat passionate about and it's something that I would like to talk about. Um, and so with that said, first off, I just want to say fuck Donald Trump and also fuck Hillary Clinton. Both candidates are unqualified to run the United States of America. Um, but I want to talk a little bit more about that uh, because there is the whole thing where, you know, if you vote a third party, then your vote uh, is basically a throwaway when you could have supported a candidate that needed your vote. So there's a whole issue there. So first off, let me talk about Donald Trump. Now, the problem with Donald Trump here is the number of um, quotes that have been documented of him uh, explicitly singling out Mexicans or um, Muslims or any other or women grabbing women by the pussies you know the, these things these statements um, they're racist and they're sexist and I know a lot of people are gonna say uh, it's not racist because he was only talking about Mexicans that are illegal in the country and that doesn't make it racist. I don't know. Some people are trying to justify that it's not racist. I'm not entirely sure how because I don't understand it. If you're saying that all Mexicans coming here illegally are rapists, I feel like that's pretty racist because you're saying it only because they're Mexican. I don't know. It's It feels like pretty uh, racist to me. I feel like that's pretty common sense, so it's hard for me to defend that. Uh, that you know, the, you know, for me to argue that it's racist, it seems common sense, so it's hard for me to do that. Um, <clears throat> so just the fact that he seems very strongly against people of different races, uh, plus the fact that he's endorsed by the KKK, um, and he didn't acknowledge it, but he didn't decline it either so there's that and then the majority of his voters people voting for him were white uh it's just it's 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 a race is a huge issue with this election and i think um whether or not you think trump is racist you have to admit race is a big part of this election um <clears throat> so there's that right and i like people i like brown people like the, my best friend is uh zero percent white so you know, I know a ton of people who aren't white that I really fucking like. A ton, you know, the other thing too, women are fucking awesome. I love women. Uh, I love that they need, they should have all the same rights as us. And that's a th whole thing as to why it's fucking bullshit that they don't. Um, and they don't deserve to be treated like property, you know, like... It, it's a woman not a pussy you, you, you gotta fucking treat her like a woman so the fact that he's just so negatively against all these demographics just blows my mind that people that he's actually our president on top of that though you know because some people could say oh well you know you're just offended by the things he says Hillary Clinton's an actual criminal you're just offended by him she's actually a criminal well the other thing about Donald Trump too is you have to remember he's not a politician he doesn't actually have any experience um, in politics, with running countries or anything. In fact, um, he has a couple of poorly run businesses, and some of them are successful, and I do understand as a business major that sometimes you do have to file bankruptcy as the smarter business decision, but what's better than having businesses being forced into bankruptcy is businesses that aren't forced into bankruptcy. So it's the whole thing where, you know, <clears throat> I get it, but at the same time, it's still bad. Um, so... He's unqualified to run a country. He has no political experience. That's the whole deal there. Um, you know, domestically, I'm not too worried, but I think foreign policy is fucked because uh, he, there's no way. I mean, think of a Donald Trump speech, right? Think of him in a speech and then think of him trying to negotiate with a foreign power using his fifth grade vocabulary uh, and his just hot headedness and his arrogance and there's just that he has no experience with 
uh, anything of that nature, especially something as delicate as what's going on in Russia right now and with NATO. Not only is he very shown to be, in my opinion, a racist and a sexist and all this stuff, um, but he also isn't a politician. And I know some people are like, well, we're sick of politicians. Fuck the system, man. Fuck that. We don't like politicians. Well, here's the thing. You wouldn't let me perform heart surgery on you, right? I'm unqualified. It's the same thing with politics, and as much as you don't want a politician in office, there are better options than Hillary or, or Trump uh, that are also experienced in politics. You know, there actually does exist candidates out there, some of which who ran for this election, who would have done a better job and had experience. So there's that. That's the big thing. You know, people say, you know, oh, we don't want politicians. Well, you know, you can't say you need a doctorate in order to become a doctor when our president doesn't have anything, any requirements to be a president. It's just, it's the same logic. He's not qualified. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't have the education to do it. Uh, there's just nothing there that shows to me that he's capable of running a first world country like America, especially one that's so influential in fragile parts of the world. Um, so there's that. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, <clears throat> having a private email server, regardless of whether or not people did it in the past, uh, and deleting classified emails, that's illegal. That's super illegal. <coughs> and a lot of people are gonna say, well, you can look at the emails and there's really nothing there that's like that bad and you know, even if it was intercepted, it wasn't that bad and she wasn't charged anyway by the FBI or whatever. The thing is, people don't understand how severe of a consequence there should be for having government documents intercepted by a foreign country, regardless of whether they were fucking Wendy's orders or attack commands on a different country. There just is no room for error as far as cybersecurity goes in the year 2016. You cannot have uh, uh, an email server uh, as Secretary of State, as someone as high up in the country as she was, unprotected. It's just, it blows my mind. And most people don't understand that. You know, a lot of Clinton supporters, as opposed to Bernie Sanders supporters, are a lot older and they just don't understand the consequences of hacking as far as i'm concerned i just there's no way that anyone who genuinely understands the severity of being hacked on that high of a government level could just let it slide and say it's fine so that's a huge deal i mean the carelessness and the you know all of that is just fucked up not to mention you know the whole thing with russia with clinton is she wants to go to war straight up now, that might be the better of two evils, you know, whether or not we have a war now while Russia's not that strong, or a war when they're even stronger, that's a whole different thing, but that's all speculation, and I'm not a political science major, so I couldn't tell you. Um, so there's that, she, you know, she wants to go to war with Russia, and I'm definitely not pro-war, uh, so fuck that. Finally, she's a she's a flip-flopper. I mean, you go back and every fucking five years, she's different on different topics. I mean, she's one thing for a while and then she realizes that Bernie Sanders is running a successful platform with these certain ideas, so she is like, oh, I've been that for so long. And it's like, no, you really haven't. Um, and it's very obvious. You can go through and see literal, like, actual quotes of her saying one thing and then at a second time saying another thing. And you know, some people are saying, well, you know, if additional information is available and she can make the educated decision to change her opinion and, and all this. And yes, you know what? That is a fair argument. But when you're running for the president of the United States of America, the one thing you're going to do is try and get votes. You will say whatever you have to in order to get votes. I mean, you know, great A under A actually made a really good point in his video where he said, you know, if you have two, if you if you own a business, right, and you're going to retire and give it to one of your employees, right, and one of your employees is staying late, and the other employee is also staying late every single day, right, but the one employee has only been staying late every single day and putting in hard work since you told them that the company was up for grabs, the other employee has been staying late for the past 20 years, putting time and effort into the business clearly you go with that candidate. So the issue with that is 
Clinton uh, did, maybe she did get, you know, uh, more information and, and make an educated decision, but she did it while she was running for president, which means there's, it's extremely likely that she has an alternative motive, i.e. she wants your vote, uh, and that she doesn't genuinely mean it. So it's more important to see who's been consistent the entire time, uh, as opposed to somebody who's willing to flip-flop on key areas really is what it is so that's the whole thing i mean trump is fucked hillary's fucked neither of them are qualified in my opinion to run the country personally um, i would have liked to see the green party get at least or a third party get at least five percent of the votes that would have been awesome because then they're eligible for funding in 2020 or something like that i'm not entirely sure um so there's that uh yeah so ultimately you know but at the end of the day and here's what i'll say <clears throat> at the end of the day Clinton is a politician. She's been one for a very long time. Is she qualified to be president? No. But she has the experience and the knowledge to at least try to keep America afloat uh, and to handle foreign policy in a way that might be good for America. Now, like I said, I don't support Hillary Clinton. I don't like her. Uh, I haven't ever liked her at all, ever. Um, I voted for Barack Obama in 2012. Yes, I was able to vote uh, in that election. I know you guys think I'm young, but I'm actually 22. Um, <clears throat> so that's the whole deal with the election. I personally think Clinton was the smarter choice, even though I don't like her. Um, like I said, she's a politician. She's qualified somewhat for the job uh, as far as politicians go. Um, maybe not as far as cybersecurity or flip-flopping on issues or trusting her or the fact that she literally rigged the primaries. That's something that people keep forgetting. She literally rigged the primaries. Like, emails came out that she she and the Dem Democratic National Committee literally, or convention, fuck, what's the C sound for? I don't know, DNC, it doesn't matter. She literally rigged that shit. Like, they literally were colluding against Bernie Sanders. Like, that's fucked up. That's like, are you kidding me? So... You know, she's shady, she's untrustworthy, she flip-flops, she fucked up as far as cybersecurity goes, and that's literally an open investigation. I think they reopened the case on her. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't looked, at it, looked into it in a few days, but yeah. But at the end of the day, she could handle foreign relations better than Donald Trump, in my opinion. She probably could just because of how long she's been a politician. That's really all it is. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is... I really think Bernie Sanders was the far better choice uh, in this election, and I know that you're thinking, "Oh, look, he's a college, uh, you know, college-aged white male. He's a Bernie bro. He's a Bernie bro. What a stereotypical Bernie bro." The thing about Bernie Sanders is he isn't owned by corporations, unlike Hillary Clinton. Um, he hasn't flip-flopped on any of his topics, unlike Hillary Clinton. He has a very clean track record. There's no dirt against him. He's very progressive. All of his ideas made a ton of sense. And, unlike Donald Trump, he's not a fucking racist or a sexist. So we had this opportunity to elect a candidate that actually had a platform that had the middle class in mind, and he was rigged out of the election uh, he just got scammed. So that's the worst part is that there was a candidate that I legitimately thought was a good a good candidate. He would have been better than, in my opinion, Barack Obama. Um, not to say Barack Obama was a great president because he was okay, I guess. But, you know, um, yeah, so that's my whole issue with politics. I don't, uh, I hope I didn't offend anybody. I tried to, you know, I don't like Hillary or Clinton or Donald Trump, so I mean, I'm kind of in a, in a middle ground here, so I'm hoping that I didn't offend too many people, um, that you can understand I'm, I'm in the middle there, as opposed to one side or the other and alienating half of my audience. Um, I am in the middle, genuinely, I literally fucking hate both of them, and it's, you know, at the end of the day, America lost, is really what happened. I mean, Hillary Clinton didn't lose, Bernie Sanders, who, did, who, who lost was America, because now... Donald Trump is our president, and he's not going to do a good job. I can guarantee you that. So, who knows? Maybe he'll get impeached. Maybe he'll get assassinated. I feel like that's more likely. I'm not hoping for those things, because that's a little bit fucked up. I mean, if he fu if he fucks up, I'm totally for impeaching him, but I'm not going to hope he gets assassinated. He might, though, because of, like, his ideologies. Who knows? Anyway, that is my opinion on the whole political issue here in America today. 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smack that like button because I know there's going to be a ton of people who dislike it just because I talked about politics. Uh, so make sure you help me out over there. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more videos like this one. If you want me to actually talk about like real world issues, that's something that I would really actually like doing. I would really want to do that um, and try and like be like kind of a middle ground in the area or you know maybe i could throw in my opinion who knows it depends on what you guys would want to hear or see um but yeah i wouldn't want to do like a screaming match i wouldn't want to do like some super biased anything it would just be my opinion on the topic you know if you guys wanted that and if you don't i totally get it because that shit really does alienate an audience and makes the comment section hostile and nobody likes that everybody just wants positive vibes and i totally am all for that so Again, if you want to see stuff like this, uh, let me know in the comment section below because I would love to make them. Um, but if you guys really don't and this was like a mistake, if this video itself was a mistake, let me know in the comment section below so I know never to do it again. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.